I hope all of you is having a productive damn day. In the game, yeah. So you best know my name, yeah. Fuck out of money and fame, yeah. I'ma keep doing my thing, yeah. I'll be the best in the game, yeah. Everybody knows my name, yeah. Fuck out of money and fame, yeah. That shit is so overplayed. What's poppin', what's poppin', you hear me? YouTube, YouTube. Um, I hope all of you once again is having a productive damn day. Dawn day. For ones who don't like cursing, I guess. Um, I'm just going to get my thoughts on um, this news that's going around in the NFL right now um, with the Julio Jones situation. Julio Jones have agreed on signing a one-year deal uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And, um, you know, by me being a Saints fan and... Uh, these guys is my is is our divisional rivals, man. I just want to just get my thoughts on it. <clears throat> and hey, I'm here. So for those who don't know, we have seen this before. All right, I'm just jump right on to it. For those who don't know, we have seen this for seen this before. You guys know before then they end up getting uh Antonio Brown, and now. After two years with them having Antonio Brown, they end up getting uh, Julio Jones. Um, when a Tampa Bay, I mean, when when a Tom Brady got to Tampa Bay, and trust me, this is this is all Tom Brady's doing. This is Tom Brady's doing. Uh, this is what Tom Brady does. You know, uh, Tom Brady to tracks. People just like LeBron to trash people to come to his team, you know, when it comes down to uh, basketball. You know, like when Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay back in 2019 20, 2019 20 season, uh, Tom Brady uh, ended up getting um, Antonio Brown and also Gronk uh, came over as well. Now since Grunt gone, Antonio Brown, uh, he part ways with them. Well, they honestly released him because of all the BS. Now you see um, him doing the same thing with another good tight end. Okay. Um, the guy that actually caught the uh, overtime touchdown against the Saints, the Minnesota Vikings, back in that, um, what it was, year 2021 uh, season. And, and um and then now they're getting Julio Jones. You know, uh so we have seen this before. Uh my question is is really this. It it's it, it's just really simple. Where the fuck they get this cap from? Where they get this cap from? I mean, if you just look at let me get my damn laptop out. If you just I'm going to get my phone, too. I'm going to work on all three motherfucking what you call it. Because now I'm getting there. Okay? Now I'm getting there. If you... I got the roster here. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little upside down. I don't know. But I got it here. Okay? Just two of these guys will be Mike Evans... Chris Godwin and Kyle went uh -oh, Randolph and then you got Julio Jones okay and then you got this other guy um Tyler Johnson and then you got the LSU trash star okay those two is really um uh, is really relevant but when you add up Mike Evans Julio Jones Chris Godwin all right and then you got Kyle Randolph, the tight end. The question is this. Where the fuck you get the cap from? Where you get the cap from? Where you get it from? The, like, that's what I don't want to understand. And then us as Saints fans, and then, at, at, at the, in the Saints, we don't got no damn cap. Mike Evans and a Chris Godwin combined together 
can worth over damn near when they both get they them over 300 mil. That's not including the salary bonus. Then you get a Julio Jones for one year. Then you get a Kyle Randolph. Where you get this cap from? If you believe it or not who that nation fans, I'm going to tell you something that you probably don't even want to hear. When we signed it, those bad um, those bad deals. And when we gave Drew Brees that money. And and uh, when Brees didn't take that cut. And then we signed it, all these bad deals, man. It put us in a bad hole. And then, too, I'm a little bit of... How, how can you call somebody a goat? And this is why I loved it. Jordan... When I was able to watch the games, you know, not, you know, because I'm a 90s baby, so I wouldn't watch it live, so I watched the highlights. But I was able to watch Kobe. I was able to watch a little Iverson. You know, I was able to watch these great players, in, including um, LeBron James, okay? His stats shows it all, Okay? But when it comes down to this football jump, I appreciate the game that Tom Brady does. Don't get me wrong. The guy's great. But how can I sit here and then give this man all the praise in the world when you got other players that were just as good at the game, like a Drew Brees, like a Pay Manny, like a Dan Marino, like, uh, you know, all these other goats, like Arch Manning and all these other people that was just as good. How can I give him more praise over these guys when this man is getting all the help he can get? Drew Brees wasted half of his career with a fucked up defense. Let's talk about Kurt Warner. Okay, he was an okay guy. But shit, let's talk about Pay Manning. Arguably, uh, arguably in that GOAT conversation when they talk about the top three quarterbacks, Pay Manning's right there. Even he didn't have all his help on the offensive side. He didn't have all that, man. He probably had about one or two weapons at the most. With uh, I believe Reggie Wayne and and, and, and uh, you know some of these other guys. Man, let's just look at all the good wide receivers that Tom Brady had, between Ocho Seco, between Randy Miles, you know what I'm saying? Between Grump, between uh, Antonio Brown, you know, between Wes Walker, between uh, 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 you know, all these guys, man. And then on top of that, this man defense, when uh, he was with New England, was one of the top dogs back then in the early 2000s. You know, back then, when you had to worry about your Baltimore, when you had to worry about your Pittsburgh, you know, like Brady had the consistent help that was around him. Hey. But these other guys didn't. But even though they didn't have all this stuff, even though that Drew Brees didn't have all this stuff, they still put up the exact same numbers that Tom Brady put up offensively. And won games. And a mad and ended up winning the Super Bowl. Once again, I can't fully take away the stuff that Tom Brady have did. Um, he, I mean, by stats, he is the GOAT. He is the man, okay? But even though I can't just up and praise him, and this guy had all the goddamn help in the world. You know what I'm saying? So, he did his thing. He is a great quarterback. I can't deny that. But, man, 
Where the F do he get this cap from? Where do he get this cap from? Where did he get this cap from? Where did he get it from? I don't know. Man. Hey, man, but that's my thoughts and opinion about it. It, it is what it is. But damn, dog. Damn. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> Welcome, Julio Jones. Welcome to the South once again. I hope you can stay healthy, brother. <laughs> That's my thoughts on the Who That Nation. That's my thoughts. I hope all of you have a productive day. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All right. Peace out. You did.